excited to be that you're here. So wherever you the last webinar we had attendees from Spain, Australia, Colombia, Dubai, New Zealand, Canada, and of course the Philippines. I don't know tonight <laughs> or tonight or this morning and my aunt, how many of you are there. So let's dive so what's a goal? A goal is an going Oh, oh my! I have my my secretary here. She's he's supposed to pass the the um, the PowerPoint, but it looks like it's not coming up. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Oh dear! I think it's delayed. I hope it's delayed. Second technicality is you have to pardon us. I'll make up for surprises for you, okay? Because it's not clicking. Oh dear! Our PowerPoint is not moving anywhere. Oopsie doopsie. Jen, can you send me a message walking anywhere? Oopsie doopsie. Hoo hoo. But anyway, maybe we can go without the PowerPoint. <laughs> we just have to make it comical. How about that? Oh la la. Oh la la. It's not moving. My screen decided to click the mouse. Click the mouse. Oh, okay. How do I click mouse? My very nice Janus. Oh dear. Oh. Okay, good. Whew, this one. Okay. <laughs> Okay, welcome to Goal Setting Seminar again. Goal is an ongoing pursuit of a work that is still accomplished. So, Brian Tracy said, shared this way that the most important ideas he learned from most powerful and successful people all over the world is that it is a miracle of goal setting that changed their lives. So, think about that for a moment. It is a miracle of goal setting that I want you to give you I, w I want you to give me an undivided uh, attention, and I'm sorry again for the delay and for the technicalities, but this webinar is for you, for me, and for your face coming true as well as mine. So help me to help you. As I said, nothing is an accident. You're supposed to be here, and there's something go. If there's something to do, you know, I'm sorry about the tech, or I don't know what else. Say, just say thank you for sharing this. Get rid of that mind that's going on there and then you are listening here for a reason and hopefully you will receive the message that you're supposed to receive today about goal setting and there's there's also I was I wanted to warn you that there's nothing original with with uh, what I'm going to share with you these are a combination of the teaching my members Jim Ron Jack Canfield Victor Hansen Brian Tracy John Azaroff to name a few as you know, I'm a lifelong learning. The only thing original is my own experience. And sometimes you don't even have to build it. But what I know is, and what worked in my life is, um, and what continue to, to, to work in life is, I am able to create the life of my dreams. And as well as by applying this, taking actions, many other peoples are affected with this learn the with goal settings as well I promise you this exercise goal setting will rekindle your dream and you'll be on the lookout for new dreams it will reignite something deep inside you it will light the fire in you to dream big dreams and believe that it's possible for you so frame your mind frame your mind because it's an ongoing, so it's a goal, it's an ongoing pursuit of a worthy objective until accomplished. So we're going to, I'm going to change the slides and see, I hope it cooperates with me. Do okay. Seven goals, first step in turning that in this table. So there's plenty to call here in the goals. And to learn how and where you can go to take action, you can take action and then implement whatever here and make 2014. 
by show of hands, Victoria, are you remember this number? Smiling? <laughs> I hope you can hear me loud and clear. It says, you are going somewhere, you need a map, and you have your destination. She will not get there. So writing your goals is vital to your destiny. So let's go to the next slide. I'm sorry, I'm just coaching myself here because the slides is not working. But I think it's working now. I hope you see the little jet there. The little jet. You see? Beautiful eyes. Sorry, it's me. I love, I love, I love Jet. <laughs> and the most successful people that I know, including my mentors, most of them came from humble beginnings. So we're similar. We have similarities. If uh, I know some of you know um, Wayne Dyer, I know Carrie. You just told uh, sent me an email uh, about the, the you can do it seminar by Hey How. Yes, I'm very familiar with them. And so Wayne Dyer the, uh, was an orphanage, and, and they didn't have a father, left him, put to it, so the mother turned her, him over to an orphanage. Imagine that. I don't know if you know the story, or the author of the story, you can see for the soul, for the soul. and then Jack came from an abusive childhood, and President William Clinton, his father was abusive as well, and the father was an alcoholic. And then, of course, you know Manny Pacquiao from the Philippines. You know Robbins. I'm sure you know what he taught him. He came from humble beginnings. He was his innings. Actually, at one point, living in his bill, beat up car, and cleaning toilet. Oprah Winfrey, you know the story. She was raped, got pregnant at 13, and look where he, she is now. So these are people started with nothing. Poor families, single mothers, father left them, they made plenty of mistakes, like you and I, <laughs> failed several times, like you and I, and today they are very wealthy and successful. Why is it? Was it because they live in America? Or because they were determined? People say to me, I'm where I am now because I married a foreigner. Is that true, honey? No. <laughs> No, he gave jump start, right? And that's why those of you who met Ted and spoke at the Kerygma conference, you know he's um, defend that, right, darling? Or because they work harder, or because they had breaks. How many of you can relate to that and agree to, to this? The, or it could be the ability to set goals over and over again. Successful people fail. They picking up picking themselves up. When the world throws them lemons, and now they make their make the ones who are successful. And then we could cut that, right? So look at Jet here again. Beautiful big eyes, beautiful smile, barefooted. The truth is, I feel like her at this moment. I'm so happy inside me. Our dog. And, and I also have a uh, I don't think I have a photo of him here. Sorry, we have a big dog. I will show you the photo. So I next time started from humble beginning, like this. So what it is really is um, I decided what what I want. I was I was dreaming. I was dreaming when I was a child as a vendor. Uh, for those of you who knows me before, I have her for the newbies. I, I sake of the newbies, I have to repeat the story. And uh, I was walking along the, the beaches of the Philippines, walking on the beach, the picture of the mother road. I walked there several, a hundred of times. And once in a while, I would see an airplane. And I'll hear the rowing I always wonder where it's going. And then when I was a vendor along Matabunkai Beach, selling mangoes, and fruits, vegetables, fish. I would I would wonder how those people live in a big homes and beautiful homes. I wonder how it is to live like that. And then when my father 
invited my father's employer, who's a family driver, invited me to their home. I said, wow, these are how rich people live. And then one day, my mother was given the leftover food from foreigners. Sometimes I actually cry when I share this, because really, our family feasted on that leftover foods, and it's so delicious. Otherwise, we would just be eating dried fish and rice with our, with our dinner or with breakfast and lunch. So I've tasted those delicious food, and I think that's when, that's when my dreams started. It's all started at the time. It seems like impossible, but where I am now is totally the opposite. Of, of those years. Now I'm living beyond, beyond my wildest dreams. I'm going places I've never even imagined before, doing things that I've never thought I could do. It is really impossible dreams. Many of you and my book fans told me they want to be like me. And some of you may also want to be like Bo Sanchez, like Manny Pacquiao, or Miss Universe, Miss Philippines. Who you want to be? Uh, ask yourself that. Who you really want to be? I guarantee you, some of you will skyrocket to success if you take action and implement the power of goal setting. Because I have to be honest, I didn't apply any goal setting and I wasn't consistent. Imagine if I was. I was just imagining. And in fact, when this, this um, I was interviewed on the TV and I put on national TV, they have to go to this muddy place because they want to prove that I really came from there. If you see the picture here, here there's a roller coaster, that's always, that's my life, it's, it's like a, a roller coaster up and down and it also reminds me that I have been, I, I locked toys when I was growing up and I've been to Disney World and Disneyland I think five times honey, twice in Disney World and the cheese girls that's uh, here is a, like a cheese girls, I couldn't afford to buy that cheese girls when I was in high school, if you read the book I was just looking at at my friend's friends um, during recess hours, and she will give me some of those cheers girls right, of, of that. Okay, so what what I did is sorry. So I decided what I want. I decided I want want a better better life for myself. I want to have my family. I started fantasizing. I started dreaming, and I started asking questions. I said, what do I need to get, what do I need to do to get out of this poverty? What do I need, who do I need to meet? Who do I want to emulate or to copy? What do I need to learn? And what do I want to be? What do I need to have? So you can ask the same question. And caution about this family, when you say teach them how, well, I want to help my family. So I believe that, you know, you have, when you, Teach them how to fish. Don't always give them fish. If you give them fish, you teach them how to be lazy. But if you teach them how to fish, you teach them for a lifetime. And that would be another story. So I was just dreaming, and I was asking questions. So I have a friend. She said she doesn't know what she wants. As gee, then she's in trouble, right? I'm in the same boat. And I'm in the same boat over and over again. But between, But when I was young, I know what I want, and I want that kind of life. So ask yourself questions, because questions hook the mind. Make new choices. Change some habits. We ask, when we ask questions, it's like electric current. Of course, I didn't know that before, and I asked that in my life, so that's why I've achieved what I've achieved. And I think, sorry, the PowerPoint's a little bit late. So I'm just sharing here the accomplishment that I have and what I have achieved. I give birth to two darling daughters, beautiful daughters, and my, my, okay, so I traveled all over the world. I set foot on all the continents but Antarctica, so I'm now an entrepreneur with a passive income. I had health opportunity, I called it opportunity, I also had cancer, and also my relationship with hit rock bottom and now my husband I think is happy. Right honey, are you? <laughs> so this is these are all just accomplishments. In nineteen ninety six I was nominated Women of the Year in Canada and after I've written the, the tale of Juliet to have the power to change your life, I was 
awarded People of the Year, and it also the book also became an Amazon bestseller. And re but really, what turns me on now is when I do things that I really, really love to do. Just here, being with you, inspiring you. I hope you get inspired. And I tell you, my life wasn't always rosy for me. I failed so many times. I made so many mistakes. My heart was broken. I had. I told you my relationship hit rock bottom and failed in so many investments, a lot, lost a lot of money. And what you know what's the most important thing is who I have become. I'm still here and I can say I'm really living the life of my dreams. You see me there, you know, it's not always first class for me, but I've flown first class. I'm sharing this life to you and this is the, my home and this is what joy every Every day, but of course, sometimes it's snowy, so I don't see the ocean. It's foggy, but I'm sharing you this. You not brag, really, truly. I'm. I feel that it's necessary to share what I've gone through and my journey, so you can relate to some of the challenges that I went through to be where I am now. And my message is, is all. All of this are also possible for you really is. I have a story on these two pictures, I, that's why it's here. I have, when I married, when my darling married me 26 years ago, right honey? I saw, we went, part of our honeymoon is uh, in Kenya, and we saw the big fives, all those, um, the giraffes, lions, and elephants, the zebras, the ostrich, the leopard, the heat, Post. And at the time, I said, wow, if I ever have children, I would like to have to bring the children here. And guess what? 26 years on our 26th anniversary, our gift to each other is to bring our family, and that's our two daughters there. We're in, in um, Cape Town, where President Mandela, uh, bless his heart, yeah, was born. So we were there for uh, almost three weeks. And so big Sue come through, and I, I tell you, I didn't put that in writing. I think I did. Maybe I was journaling, and I said I'd like to, to take my kids there. So I think if you, you know my kids, they will say that's a dream of life for them, and it's a big dream come true. And another photo here is a photo of my husband and our family and my husband's son, Ryan. You know, I'm the second. And wife. <laughs> so it's a big dream come true again. They were almost disconnected for 18 years, and then it's last summer we were in Venezuela, and that's the first time of our youngest daughter to meet to meet uh, Ryan. And so it's another big dream come true. And also, I believe I've again written that in a journal. I didn't know about this goal setting thing a lot before, so I put it in a journal, and it it happened. It happened, and believe it or not, we were there, and we were sleeping on the same. I actually slept on the same bed as my my husband's ex-wife. <laughs> we were together. We were, we stayed at their house for two weeks, and the first time I met her ever, we slept together in one bed. How is that? How cool is that? Cool, cool. cool. By show of hands, smile. <laughs> so Nelson Mandela says that that will be the next slide. This is. It's always seem impossible until it's done. So we're going to go faster here. I have some more here about my, my um, OK. So this is the Winter Wonderland. Again, I'm showing this to you, not to brag, but uh, more stories about this, <laughs> how I learned how to snowboard and how I learned how to ski. So in the, my next book, which is Create the Life of Your Dream, and so watch out for it. So this is how we live. I uh, think you've seen my uh, beautiful daughters, wouldn't you agree? So this was taken in Australia, and the one wearing white, the youngest, she helped me co-wrote the 30 success principles. So if you haven't got a copy of that yet, make sure you go to the website, jetpanriven.com, I believe, and get the 30 success principles. Those are all the principles that's found in the tale of Juliet that I bribed my daughter, <laughs> Catherine. Actually, she helped me all also, with the editing of editing of the tale of Juliet. So anyway, the second one, my daughter Michelle, she lived in the Philippines for four years. She just returned, and she also participated in the first episode of Amazing Race Philippines, and she also got paid for it. And also while climbing Mount Pulag with Agamula, imagine 
getting paid, <laughs> climbing. Um, of course, I'm proud of this much. And then go to and my family and that's that I mean whistle and see that is always working and I'm sure you are in life too. Oh always be on the lookout for the signs. Many of you might have heard a story that I thought I was going to be a nun. I left Philippines although I did not have a, a goal or of or I didn't write a goal that I want to work brilliant all I believed. Because of my good first love left me. So I ended up thinking about, hey, maybe I should uh, I should go somewhere else, right? So the opportunity just came came to me, and at the time I was really crying. <laughs> I thought it was the end of the world for me. So why am I sharing you this as a part of the goal setting? Because sometimes you will get hurt, hurt. You will hit rock bottom, and you will always ask why, why you, why you. You will be devastated. You will lose hope. And you remember there's always a spiritual solution in any problems. Something bigger and brighter is waiting for you. Imagine if my ex-boyfriend didn't leave me. I would never have, I never ever thought about, about going to, to Yemen. That's where, and then I didn't know that my Prince Charming is waiting there. Well, I met Mother Teresa. Maybe that's why my life is charmed. So something better is waiting for you. You will rush. You will fall. Just keep at it. Keep an eye on your goal and where you want to be. Shake it off. You know, get up and fail fast forward. So what I remember is I always take inspired action. So as I said to you, uh, honestly, I don't normally write my goals in the past, but I journal once in a while, not even consistent. Imagine if I was consistent. So I take inspired action. And really what turns for me is little did I know that there is something big waiting for me. What an honor to be awarded People of the Year for spreading inspiration. And I know God is behind all this as well. Now, it's up to me to continue to be a messenger of hope and inspiration. That, that is now what I'm doing this. So you, can, you too can live the life I'm living now and experience an amazing, beautiful life journey. So what really turns me around is the moment when I decide I want to take responsibility for my life. Whatever happened is up to me. So... Maybe you can copy that too. Stop blaming your parents. Stop blaming your siblings, the government, the economy, your husband, your kids, other people, and everybody else. I still do this once in a while, right, sweetheart? Oh, sorry. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> oh, I think I'm still blaming my husband. <laughs> See, that's the truth. But I'm getting better, right? It's I still <laughs> He's joking. <laughs> it's a lifelong, long process. So this, this, uh, yeah, that's what he says all the time. Um, <laughs> the again, the PowerPoint is not working, but you'll see the picture of me and my husband, and um, and he, he, I know he's really love me, and it's hard to remember. It's hard to remember that not too long ago. Oh, he, there you go. Not too long ago, he, um, he, we almost throw the towel. Is that correct, Tony, by saying that? We almost got divorced. We almost got divorced. And it's hard to believe that we're together now happily. And we're actually, when we were in the Philippines, we spoke to couples. The topic was of our presentation was is strategies to a happy and juicy marriage the second time around. So there is hope. <laughs> Why did this happen? I think because maybe God wants me to really get the mass message across and to help more people. See, now I'm not only helping singles, but also a lot of cu couples. So, because I, I, yeah. So, oh, okay, this is the Kerygma Conference. I think uh, you can raise your hand if you see yourself here. This is the, that amazing moment at the Kerygma Conference, which, is, which happened, I think, two months ago. So, this is what makes my heart sing these days, is when I can share my God-given this is a life 
of contribution and mission. This is what makes my heart sing when I know that by sharing what I learned, I can teach and inspire other people too. When I receive an invitation by Bo Sanchez to speak at the conference, I know God is behind all of that. It's a wish come true for me. I want to warn you. Also, when you're inspired, which means in spirit and action, even when your goal is not written, God knows our deepest heart's desire. So message to you, some of you that there in the charisma we're supposed to meet. This is, this, nothing is an accident. I realize I have something to give to the world. I have a message of hope and inspiration. I was given all the experiences, the challenges, so I can turn around and teach others to help others too, to inspire others, to move into action. So you too can create the life of your dreams because there is a champion in each and every one of you. I repeat that. There is a champion in each and every one of you and hope someday you would do the same too that I'm doing now. I'm giving all my, con my contribution to the world. So if you see yourself there, raise your hands. <laughs> okay, so I found my purpose and a dream come true for me and this is also another Another goal achieved is to share the stage with uh, my darling hubby. And of course, goals achieved, the five things that I, that I achieved this year, which I'm very, very grateful for, is we traveled, between me and my husband, we traveled in five countries and family trip. And we went hiking with our daughters, all of us together. We climbed the Grouse Mountain. If you want to know where the Grouse Mountain is, the very steep hill in Vancouver, the, ch the chief, and some photos on the Facebook. We had a Christmas together. See, these are all my wins, my achievements. We have a Christmas together. And our daughter, our daughter was in the Philippines for four years, and she spent Christmas just two, two nights ago here in our home. It was really nice. And then uh, my hubby speaking. And what else can I ask for? <laughs> my book is is sitting next to uh, to Robert Kiyosaki, and I really, I really, really, and I'm so, of course I'm doing this webinar, so I'm really, really inspired, and I can't wait for 2014. It will be a super, super amazing year for me, and I hope for you too. And I have actually a surprise. <laughs> uh, I want you to hold me accountable for that. I'm working actually working. On a second book, create the life of your dreams. I think I'm not 100% sure if that will be the the. Oopsie doopsie. Okay, uh, if I think I'm losing you, it says in my end that the Internet Explorer stopped working. I hope you can still see me. Okay, well let's g dive into the goal setting. So. I hope you could still hear me. All right. Every year, we make, year, we make different New Year's resolution. The question is, do we pursue them? Or, or do we begin in January and stop in February? Can you relate to this? So I'm guilty, actually, as church. We will talk about being guilty to another session. Forgive yourself. For the past, your past life doesn't define your future. Get rid of your baggage. It's about your choices. That's why we are here and where we are now. It's all meant to be. Now you can make better choices and you can also make better decisions in your life. That's why I love to do attend seminars and speaking tours in January because people need some guidance, some kind of renewal, new beginnings, new hope and new inspiration, new habits, new choices, and new action. If you want to change, something has to change. If you could doing what you've always done, you've always got what you've always gotten, correct? If you have not written your goals before and you expect to skyrocket to success, good luck. If you want to skyrocket to success and you are not changing your habits and you're not, you keep choosing what you've chosen in the past, so it won't work. Okay, close program. I have a prompt. Oopsie doopsie. Now I don't see you guys anymore. But I can continue talking. I hope 
I hope I hope you can hear me. Sweetheart, oh dear, can you still hear me? I have to continue talking. <laughs> so this is, um, I'd like you to do is write five things you have accomplished that you are proud of. This is how you start because you have to start with your, your writing your go back. So what are the five things that you're already proud of? I don't see you anymore on my thing, so I'm just going to keep talking. So take a deep breath and exhale and inhale. When I was... So write down the things that you have accomplished at this moment. Take a moment. I hope you have pen handy. So we'll take a two, minutes, two minutes to write down the things that you are proud of. I'm sure you have that. And I'm going to check if I'm still online. I hope I'm still online. All right. So sometimes we we fail to celebrate our wins, success, and victories. So we have this is very very important. And then you come from this ex 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 excited moment. Oh my God! Yeah, I've done that. And have you up this past year or uh, up to now? You know, have you done hiking the mountain or anything else you could think of that you've done and you were you are very proud of, big or small, write it down. And so we're going to go to the goal setting now, and I want to make sure that I'm still online. I'm sorry about this, but I, I'm not absolutely sure if I'm still online. I lost the prompt. I'm sorry about that. Joy, ju -ju 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 -ju. you can, uh, Jenny, Jenny. Jenny, you can send me a message if I'm still online, and I will continue. I'll continue anyway. Way. So I'll be talking to myself or to everybody else. So, so, okay. So make sure you write down your goals in every areas of your life. So are you going to open a new business venture in the business or hire new employees, or what are your career plans? Are you going to resign or work for promotion? And the financial goals? Are you planning to invest or clearing out your debts? We'll talk about this too. Actually, on January 25, we'll talk about that. There's a bad debt and a good debt, as Robert Kiyosaki defines. A bad debt are the, the, the consumer items, and the good debt is if you're borrowing money to make money, and hopefully you get more returns than what you're paying interest for. So you want to increase your income? Yes, and the personal plans are travels, it's spiritual, you pay more often, connect with nature. I love nature walks, and do you have date nights with your hubby or your loved ones? So make sure when you write your goals, you have you are addressing all the financial career goals, the financial goals, personal, spiritual, and other significant of is significant to you. So now to help you write down your goals, you have to ask yourself, what is is really important to you and what's the purpose of what of why are you doing this and what am I prepared to make this happen what are the rewards and benefits of this new discipline ask this question to yourself the new course will give you drive and energy to get up in the morning it will keep your adrenaline pumping visualize alternative one two three four ten years from now what are you going to be I have a story here I was attending a seminar I'm a lifelong learner I was in Hyatt hotel and I saw a Filipina chambermaid and she, I said, hey, Manang, how long have you been working there? She says, 25 years. Nothing wrong with that, correct? But she said she also had dreams. She had big dreams before. She gave up and lost hope. She sent money at home, and she worked so hard. And now she's still doing the same thing 
and she just forgotten about her dreams. She's over 60 years old and still have, is doing the same job. So, okay, back to this. So I'm just searching the surface here. We can go deeper with, with me on um, January 25 in programming your mind for money and success. We'll take your goals, chunk them down, and we'll have a concrete plan and clarity in the right tools and the recipe to follow that work in our others learning tonight it's more and more. But as you can act yourself with goal setting. So what's really important to you? What's the purpose you do this? Why am I prepared to give up to make this happen? I don't know if I have the same same um I think I don't have the same point uh, here. I hope you're still there. My husband is PowerPoint, doing it. My assistant is my husband here. Hi, sweetheart. So, so your goals check. Your goals must be your own goal. Oh, my assist, let's go back to that. But I think back to that couldn't. I don't. I know if I don't know how to get back there. So your goals check. Your goals be your own goal. You know what I mean? This I know someone who used to be a seminary. He wants to be a Catholic priest, and it gains him his heart. So when his mother died, he came right out of the seminary. And so there's also a, I read a story in one of the books that I'm reading that he he his parents wants to him to be a dentist. And, and he, you know, it was not his passion. He did, but I think uh, he had to pay the thousand he stake and then die for the suit. So it, that's not his passion. So your goals must be meaningful. It, the your goals must be specific and measurable. We could go to the uh, Your goals must be flexible. And your goals must be a lot. I have a say that all it is flexible is you say I'm overweight. I have happened to be overweight, and I rather dance for a straight three hours Zumba. Maybe, you know, go to the gym and but that's what I want. I I I cannot I can just walk done in you know lifting all the machines in. Society. Also, entrepreneurs are known for getting distracted, like me, and and lost the fo focus. So, have to be flexible. So, the you go must be alignment with your values. So, if there's a story here that one, if you need uh, some money, somebody says, hey, you know, I can help you. I can get you some money. Your friend told you that he knows where to get some money. Let's drop the bank. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you. So that's the solution. Predicts your values, your intuition, your gut feeling. You, you know, you get, you'll have a lot of money, but your heart is churning inside, churning inside. So, so there has to be no internal conflict. There are ten more of this type by top uh, goals checklist, but now we can always only cover five. Okay, so let's see. Uh, sorry, but the PowerPoint is not coming up. So we're going to do this exercise. I hope you're still there. Oh, dear. I don't know how to go back. I'm going to try it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, really. OK. So this is a strategies of goal setting from Jim Rohn. And uh, it's emulated by other personal development gurus. So think for a moment now. If you have to live your life all over again, or if you know you could not fail, what would you like to accomplish in the next 10 years? So let's uh, take a deep breath and be with me and pretend you're a genie. You have a lamp, you can do anything without limitations. Or you can also pretend you are a young child, playful, a dreamer. You can even go back up with the, and relate to the picture of Juliet. She was barefooted, living in a one-bedroom home, eating leftover food from foreigners, selling goods along the beaches. And where is she now? Again, don't take this me bragging or because she had a break. 
think of Oprah and all those people and Manny Pacquiao or some of, someone you most abra admire. Why are they successful now? So let your wild imagination soar. Have fun with this. Open your mind to all possibilities. Start writing your goals now. Create a, like a childlike enthusiasm. Do not place any restrictions. So write your goal. Keep writing them. It doesn't really matter what happens to you in the past. What matters is the present and where you want to go. Think what could be possible for you. Whatever works for you. What would you write? Keep writing your goals and I will help you by just supporting you here. Imagine you don't have any limitations. You have all the time, you have all the money, friends, you have work, education experience, you have a magic wand. What the write down for the next ten years, write as many goals as you can. Really, for five, be a lifestyle, right? Or ghost. Even if you just write it down and never look at it again, you'll be amazed what will happen. But of course, one tip here is write your goals down and then have a look at it after to be a man later. What will happen to it? Writing a goal is like a blueprint when you are building a house. Because the most part, our brain is generally lazy, yet it's more powerful if you use So some other, some other questions that will help you to do this. Keep writing, keep writing. Don't mind me talking. I hope I, it helps you. So goal setting focus question are, what do you want to do? you want to have, where you want to go. Oh my god, I have to go to more places. We have a record record this year. We've been to 15 countries. I don't know if I can beat that. <laughs> and then what contribution do you want to make? Do you want to be an author? Do you want to be a speaker? Or do you want to volunteer? Do you want to donate your time? What do you want to become? What do you want to learn? Oh, for me, I'm going to learn how to be a little techy so I can communicate with you better. <laughs> and who do you want to spend your time with? I want to spend, of course, my time with my darling. He's uh, sitting here next to me patiently. <laughs> I don't know what he was thinking. I said, oh, my God, what is she doing talking to herself? Is that right, honey? <laughs> I have so too. How much time do you want for fun? How much? How, what will do? What will I do to create optimum health? Oh, I have I have a lot to say to you about that. <laughs> when you when you are diagnosed with cancer, you will really, really, really think about those things. So, so this is your ten ten year goals. What experiences would you like to have in the next ten years? What countries do you want to visit? What do you want for your children? What else do you like to learn? What new things do you want? And make sure. So I don't know if we have more time about this, but then when you have time, and you continue, can continue this at home, we're going to go fast here now. So I hope those questions help you how to uh, write down your 10-year goal. So after you write down your, your goals, put some time frame on that, which one you would like to achieve in one year, two years, three years, it, it meant three years there. Uh, five years or ten years from now, and you can take this further, further um, on your quiet time. 
time. Take a quiet time, really pay attention. I will do the same thing. Actually, I, I wrote down some of mine earlier, but I didn't have much time, so I'm going to take it further later on. So I, uh, the volunteer there means that if, <laughs> if I'm on a chat line, I would ask you to volunteer some of your big goals. So what you can do is maybe you can write it to write and share with me if you want to do that. So the next next one is remember the saying um, how do you eat an elephant? Well, oops, one bite at a sure time. Break down to be financially free. How much would you like to to save? You know, month by month. Because um, Henry Ford, how much money do you want to make daily, weekly, and monthly? And say and then uh, what do you want to invest in? Stock market or homes. So you have to be specific here. So the biggest task in the world can be accomplished if broken down into small pieces, small steps. So what happens is when you when you take small steps, one day at a time, you know, like finding a mentor, cleaning your garage, schedule date nights, or make a phone call, get a coach. The, what happens is the man has a natural momentum once you get into the rhythm, you start moving forward one small step at a time. Remember always that no one is better than you, no one is smarter than you, and they're earning. Some people are earning more than you because they just figured out how to do it before you. So have a habit of asking questions, meet people, attend seminars, listen to audios, use the internet, the social media, not just for socializing, you know. Google, if you don't know anything, the, the, there's some answers there. Those people learn what they needed to learn to achieve their goals. And whatever the thousands of people have done, you can do it too, you know. What, what they can do, you can also do. Gee, I should tell this to myself as well. And so the term term goals. So um, month month by goal. So chunk it down. Small your little sample is your short term goal. Term goal is you might have. I'm guessing this because I think this is what happened between me and my husband. I got busy and he's busy at work. I got busy with the children and with the business, and we forgot to have dates. So have a date night. So that takes takes care of your that will take care of your relationship, and then jot down what you want to learn and who do you want to learn it from. You know you want to learn new skills, and it's very 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 important. You know how you manage money, and we also gonna dig deep on that on our twenty five on January twenty five seminar, and then also you have a short trip or travels, even hiking, even just out in nature and. And so, if the money, how much would you like to save? You want to find a new job? Uh, what what skills do you want to learn? So, if you want to write a book, you know, uh, like write down your goals, two page a day. I should tell this to myself too. <laughs> I've been writing, <laughs> but uh, yeah, two page a day. So before you know it, you have a you have already a, so chunk it down, you know, because if you write a hundred fifty hundred fifty pages book, it seems like oh, overwhelming. But but if you if you write a goal, a two-page a day, so maybe at the end of the year you'll have already a book. So, so the long-term goals also. So now, like for instance, the money, the money thing after Christmas. Did you accumulate debts or? Oh dear, <laughs> lots of shopping, right? So, yeah, and I can help you on this on January twenty-five. So determine how long you can pay out your debts. If it is a big amount, perhaps you can pay paying it on December 2014. Ooh. <laughs> so this the task starting January that what you can do and accomplish in order to attain your December goal. So chunk it down. Only you can determine your goals if it's short term or long term depending on your personal resources. So after you're listing your goals, what's next? Is determine ways or tasks that how you can implement and how to you achieve your goals for a month. The long-term goals have tasks that you should implement months before the target date. You know, write down your target date. Make sure you do the task for each month for a short-term and long-term goal. So I think that's um, very, very straightforward. And you also find your motivation, find your why, 
and because your why will get you stronger and the how will get it easier so for for me for instance my real motivation is to for writing a book and doing this webinar I'm waking up four o'clock in the morning and to give you the seminar it's really I want to inspire and motivate you to really reach your potential and I want to send share my message to the world so what you can also do is find an accountability partner, a close friend who would really support you and keep you on track. Someone who can give you a slap on the, sorry about that word, on the behind <laughs> when you are um, lost, you're not on track. So um, you can continue doing this at home, as I said, and when you attend our seminar, we will pair you up with an accountability be a partner and who will be able to support you and the same page learning as you. So uh, creating a dream board also helped me. Uh, every new year, I think we're doing this a few years in a row now, I invite a few friends to do cut out dream board. Put all the pictures that you want. I have a dream board here uh, somewhere. And and also you practice visualiz visualization. So we're gonna do more of this on January 25. Other than that, you can take again. You can take it uh, on a quiet place at home and make sure you do this. So the last is your goals check checklist. Again, your goals must be your own goal, not your parents, not your not your brother, not anybody else. And you have to have a meaningful goals. Your goal must be specific. Your goals must be flexible, so because it it changes as you grow. Sometimes your your goal change, so make sure you you do that. And I want to emphasize here to be a life really lifelong learner. Uh, Jack Canfield is here. I mentioned this. Uh, she, if I didn't attend the seminar, I would be sharing the same stage as him. He was introducing me uh, to speak as one of his seminars. This is, was actually in Manila. And I've attended the last seminar of Tony Robbins, Robert Saki, and without, without me being a lifelong learner, and I just stay at home and listen to the tapes, it's not enough. This is why I find to myself is take inspired actions. Goals must resonate with you. And when I attended Jack Canfield's seminar, I don't feel like going there and said, oh, gee, it's so far away. But I say I want a breakthrough to success. And so because of that, I was given an opportunity to do to take my life to the next level. So there's nothing really compared compared to a, a live seminar. I attended the live seminar Mark Hansen. There we met. He told me I have a book in me, and that's what that's the reason why I, I said to my God, Mark, are you kidding? I don't have any creative writing skills, and because I attend this live seminar, we connect. And he told me I have a book in me, and I took Sparta, and I, I took it to heart. I set my goals and now I that's why I'm here with you today so may I invite you to the program your mind for money success significance and thanks for your time I really am prepared <laughs> so I'm just going away here and I would like to invite you there you're there practice here <laughs> Hope, I hope you're there. So we're going to have, thank you for your time, and I'm going to invite you to the program Your Money for Success and Significance. I don't know if you know Sha, I think some of you know about her. So what Sha is a, an ordinary employee, but she has a dream. And apparently, I, when I read one of her books, she said, she mentioned that she was covered with death, a lot of Visa cards death, uh, just a few years ago. And uh, now she turned her life around and she became an author, actually multiple series of books. She, I think she has, she has written seven books already. She's doing seminars. She is uh, invited by Bo Sanchez to present on one of his boot camps, uh, how to be an author, something like that. And so 
And when we met, we just met on Facebook. She sent me an e a Facebook message that said, Miss Jet, you're the one who I want to meet one of these days. I want to interview you. <laughs> So of course, the I, I check up on her and oh my God, this is the lady, and she inspired me. See, it's that you know, you think she, she, I'm older than her and she's younger than me. She has written seven seven books, and you know, she inspired me. So you just don't know who's gonna inspire you. So anyway, we put our heads together. I met her finally last month only in Manila, and I said, wow, I really wanted to do to do a seminar, and I said. Uh, Maybe we could do it together. She says, oh, yeah, yeah. She jumped into the opportunity. So she says she's writing a book about money. She's all a member of the Truly Rich Club of, of, of Bo Sanchez. What it is, she was able to quit her job. She's now free, a lot of free time. Uh, and and she, I believe she was able to purchase her own place already. So it's an amazing, amazing lady. And that's just in five years' time, I believe. She, I think she's been some. She has traveled also. So um, I think you just go on her website, and you will know more about her. So, if what you will learn there is you have the right mindset and habits necessary to succeed in life, you will learn how to make and manage, multiply your money. Oh my God, we're both good at that. <laughs> and how to program your mind to get rid of your limiting beliefs. Sometimes those self-limiting beliefs is what stop us. So and how we will uh, tackle or we will teach you how to find your true purpose in life and why you never be fulfilled until you do it. And of course many, many, many more. So what, what, why do you need to, um, to attend Program Your Mind for money and success and significance too? The good news is more people are going to be successful and will make more money in the years ahead than in the last hundred years. Our economy has grown by several millions of pesos and dollars in five years, most especially with technology in place. And all this money are running through somebody's hand and your job is to run some of those money through yours. Let me repeat this. Brian Tracy said, this is one of the best times in all human history to be alive because more people are going to make more money in the years ahead. And if you implement and put into practice what we talked about here and what you're going to teach you on January 25, you put them to practice and take action, you'll be the ones who will be successful. I hope to see you and your family there. Meanwhile, continue to write down your goals and watch on Facebook about our big announcement and surprise for you. So, why should you be a lifelong learner? Because education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world famous saying of Nelson Mandela, this is hard, rest in peace. And Jim Rohn said, the greatest gift of education you can give to your wife, your husband, and your children is the gift of self-development. So, I also have a Facebook contest. You can actually win a seat in our seminar. So the Facebook uh, mechanics or the rules are on the Facebook. Simply put, you have create a video about your passion and how you can share it with others. Maximum of three minutes. Post it in Facebook. Jet Van Ruben and the most like wins. And then this Jet page. And words are for program your mind for money and success. Success. Forty-five minutes time with me on Skype. Promise. <laughs> you can ask me any questions, and it's actually your time to shine. Impress yourself. Challenge yourself. Grow yourself. Make a make a. If you know, if you always wanted to to create a video or audio of yourself, why not try it now? And also, you'll get a free ebook and audio book and more surprises. So, how do you eat an elephant? We're gonna close close here. How do you eat an elephant? 
This is how you eat an elephant. <laughs> One step at a time. So I don't know if I can open it for questions. I'm not sure even if we're online. Uh, Joy, are we still online? Oh my gosh. I do. Oh my gosh, I think you're still online. Wow, and there's 17 people. Oh my God, and more, more, more here. Oh, well, I see you now. I'm sorry, and thank you so much for listening. And I will entertain any questions. Hopefully, I can read your questions. Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys, for listening. Did you like that PowerPoint that I that I showed? How to eat an elephant? That was actually happened two weeks ago in uh, in um, in Thailand with my husband. And there's a video, YouTube video. It was really hilarious. We had such a good, good time. So I think you're all still there. I hope we're still online. And ask questions, and I will answer them. Can I see? If you have any questions, any comments, and I'm really, really sorry. I can think of something to, to make up for this. Because I was talking away there, and I didn't know if you're still there. <laughs> So I just trust, <laughs> and I didn't know, it. all I need to do is just press escape. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay you guys, I love you, love you guys, and I really, I have to surprise you with some gift I don't have to make up for you, and I hope you learned something. Is there any questions? Questions? Let's see. Let's see, let's see, I don't see any questions. I hope, I hope, I hope, and... Let's see. Okay. Carry that. I see you, Jenilyn. All of you, thank you so much. Arwen, Basil, Esther, Gino, Grace, Junar, Lucille, and Noemi, Maribel, Paul, Rina, Saleh, and more. So if you have any questions, if you, um, seems like, Let's see, there's a question here. Let's see, let's see. Let's see, question, question. I don't see any question. Oh my goodness. Oh, who are your mentors? I don't know if that's a question now. I have so many mentors. Tony Robbins, Jack Canfield, Mark Victor Hansen, Robert Kiyosaki, in fact, right now, I'm coaching with one of the coaches of Tony Robbins, T. Harvecker, or so many of them, sweetie. I, uh, yeah, you check on the Facebook. I actually, some of them, I met Wayne Dyer. I spent uh, 13 days with Wayne Dyer. And some of the, you know, mentors, Bo Sanchez, Oh my goodness, Esther said, hi Jet, questions, no questions so far, I'm just so grateful to be present in this webinar and see you here in Manila, see you there Esther, I, I don't know how we met, oh my god, this is so cool, I can actually, I can actually, I promise you, I'm better actually when, uh, when, when I see you, so <laughs> for those of you who want to join the, the contest, you might uh, get it for free, we also have some special, maybe family, family rates and corporate rates, so I will also be there. So, um, anything else? Anything else? Any qu other question? No questions so far by Janeline. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Chet, for the web webinar. I want to be the next Pinoy Steve Jobs. Oh my God! Oh my God! So cool! I, you know, do not. I was gonna say that, and I uh, actually, uh, I, I, I forgot my notes here, and said, oh, maybe you wanna be Steve Jobs. Okay, my. God. I want to learn from you, baby. <laughs> Lucelle, Lucel, Lucel, I believe Lucelle is from Dubai. Who else is from uh, not outside the Philippines here? Actually, you can type in because I can, I'm so excited now. Oh my God, it's 5 o'clock and I'm so excited. And you know, honestly, I haven't had a sleep. I'm preparing for this <laughs> webinar. You know, you can ask my husband how long did I prepare for this <laughs> seminar. I'm doing my research and I did. PowerPoint, I'm sorry, I really don't know how to do this. I used to have um, a, a printing company and I never really learned design. I don't know anything, anything but techie, I don't know. So, oh my God, Lucel is from from Dubai and Carrie is from Colombia, my God. 
And Colombia, uh, Carrie said I was in, actually I went to the Amazon River. I was there for two months in Colombia, and I asked. I have to ask Carrie how we met, and I met her in Bahia, <laughs> and she's been following me. And I believe we have only a few minutes that we met, and I gave her a card, but she checked my my uh, she checked my um, website, and oh my, I'm so so blessed. Uh, and as I said, I'm good at techie. I for get rid of my phone, no guys. I I get my phone when um I was diagnosed with cancer business, you know, and I I uh, this is uh, more than what I want to share with you. And of course, I almost got divorced, and so I want to love myself, and I wanted to really change something in me because I used to be a tech queen so for four years you can you imagine I, for four years I don't have a telephone and because I want to spend more time with my darling my lovey dovey dovey <laughs> that's what I did see sometimes you have to change your habit you have to make choices and of course I didn't actually care about the uh, well I, ca I do care about my mission but you know sometimes they say you cannot like when you're boarding an airplane, you have to put the mask on yourself first because you you can help others. So how can I help others when I come home, and I have a, a you know my relationship was not in uh, in uh, good uh, good path. <laughs> I got so excited, Lucy. What did you say? So you're going to be a hit in Manila. One of my dreams is to see you again. Oh my God! <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. That's that's so nice to hear. I'm in Ireland. Oh my God! I'm in Ireland and met you in BGC last month in Manila. Oh my God, Sally! Is that you? You're the Irish lady. Oh my darling, I love you. I actually wanted to to meet you at the time, honey. She's here. You know, I'm. I always admire. Uh, you know, uh, you're in Ireland. Hey, Sally. We're going to Ireland. Oh, that's you. I'm so excited. We're going. Oh, my God. You know what? We plan to go to Ireland, but I think it's, tell me, I think it's going to be cold in May. We're going to, to um, yeah, I think, is it going to be cold? Which part of Ireland are you? Oh, my God. <laughs> Which part of Ireland are you? you? Yeah, Sally. So, are you going back to Manila? Oh, my God. We're, we're talking here now. So, anything else? Anything else? Any other questions you uh Dear, dear. <laughs> so positive around. We have um, 500 seats that are available in uh, Asian Institute of Management. We're going to go deep about goal setting, and I promise you, you're going to love it. And really, we're going to put our heads together, Shy and I, putting our heads together, really to, to inspire you, to motivate you, and to put you into action. Yes, yes, Sally, message me, please. Yes, message me. I think my husband said it's too cold, so we might be going to Greece instead. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh my God, Carrie says, so many dreams you have triggered my desires, and you are, oh my God, amazing. Yes, Carrie, really, I know you, you going to be, really, really, some, some of us have forgotten our dreams, that's including me also, and I'm telling you, I'm going to be honest to you, I'm not really, I'm not really, uh, consistent in this goal setting thing as my husband sometimes I think when you write this down it's powerful sometimes I just I just write to myself it would be nice to do this it would be nice to do that and even this webinar you know what if I waited till I'm perfect on this it will never ever ever happen really it won't but but I told my um, my VAs they're wonderful and uh, I just, <laughs> and I said, Jay, we're gonna do this. I really wanted to get in touch with, the, with the people because I was so inspired after the conference in Manila and all the emails that I'm receiving. And so I said, I want to do this. So I'm gonna say goodbye to you guys. See, it's hard to say goodbye. I really don't want to leave you guys. But you can send me email. Promise me, I answer them. Probably it will take time, but ask me questions. And also, as I said, if you want to take it to the next level and submit, you can join the, just follow on the Facebook, okay? So bye-bye, uh, Sally, bye-bye, Carrie, and...
<laughs> oh, Carrie says, yes. Well, the thing is, just really take action. Prepare your goal. You know, prepare it. Setting goals is the first step in turning the invisible to visible. Remember that? So I love you all. Take your dreams to the next level. I love you. I see you in Manila, Sally. Oh, you're going to be there. Okay. So I love you guys. I really love you. Thank you so much. Uh, Darlene, thank you. Any questions, send me an email. And I hope you pass the word around, share the love. And I really love you. Thank you so much for trusting me. And Junar, thank you. Thank you. I see you. Yes, Jeneline, thank you so much. I love you. I really do. Thanks for sharing. Yes. Esther, yes. Happy New Year. Yes. <laughs> I sleep now. Yeah, like I'm so, so, so super inspired. You know that? You really inspire me. You really, really. You guys really inspired me. You know? What inspire you also inspire me. And so we are like minded. And remember, remember, no one is better and special than you guys. You know, we're all special. We're all champions. Keep that in your mind. And what's possible for me 